So here's what we know. It is not enough today or perhaps ever for our students to just know how to read and write and do arithmetic. They have to know and be something more to be both successful and happy in life. And so when you have a boarding school, you're able to foster character and integrity and leadership in very deep ways with individual students. Kids come here, don't say a word when they're on their shadow visit, but by the time they're freshmen, sophomores, they have a friend in every class, they have a friend in every sport or every arena of the school. Kids who are known and loved for who they are, they learn more. And after one day here, he was talking all about his experiences. I always wanted to do this work since I was 16 and I went to a boarding school for summer school. I just loved the neighborhood feel that you felt immediately and I just knew that I wanted to be a part of that for my career. It has become my second home, my home away from home. I realized there was this whole other person in there that was dying to talk about the books he read and dying to talk about the Roman Empire and the, you know, what happened in chemistry and the lab they did. You find out so much more about these kids when they feel like they're in an environment where they can speak freely and they can speak openly. Uh, Coach O. Mr. Cohen. Mr. Mock. And even when I'm like, oh, I can't do it anymore, i like, I can't do it. He's like, yes, you can, you're gonna do it. Uh, he's a really, really funny guy. Mr. Zambada is like his hero. My cross-country coach, Molly Bicola. Amy Wintermeyer. Uh, Emily Schinkel. Michelle Park. When I first came to the school, I could barely lift the bar of bench press and day by day he'd help me out and he'd encourage me and he'd just add little weights without me knowing and now I'm lifting 25s on each side. I thought I would be here for two to three years. Then way leads on to way, as Frost says, and uh, um, this just became a place where I was allowed to grow, both professionally and personally. One of my teachers told me years ago that teaching is a career that keeps you honest and I find that when I'm standing in front of a classroom of young people from around the world, uh, they are constantly challenging me to be my most authentic self. And um, so I've learned to be my most authentic self. I remember this one day, it was a, a Sunday, and I got a call from um, a teacher who just wanted to call and tell me that my son was doing really well in the class. It's often in the months or years after those interactions that students will come back to me and say that was one of the most important things in my life, that conversation we had with each other, the way I changed. That's what it's all about. It's just really wonderful to see your son thriving. It's more rewarding than really anything else that I've ever done. I could have played in the NFL but something drew me back to this school here. Um, and it was my love for giving back and wanting to have an impact on kids. I think it gives you hope. Uh, I think if you're cynical about young people, you don't know any. I remember showing uh, the human resources person my passport, and she looked at all the different countries I'd been to, and she said, wow, are you really gonna be happy working here? And uh, I said, yeah, the world is here. <laughs>